My name is Darren Hall. I'm a photographer and uh, I'm visiting Southwest Saskatchewan for the third time. And uh, come hang out with me. Welcome to uh, Grasslands West Block and I'm um, super excited to be here. It's uh, windy. Um, I got a night in Frenchman's campground here so I'm going to stay in the park tonight. Hopefully the wind keeps moving these clouds away and we'll see some stars but even if they don't the amount of time lapses you can do with like the amount of clouds in the sky and like this wind is crazy. Grasslands West Block, Bison and Stars. Grassland East Block, Landscape and Stars. And Better Hikes. Can't quite tell. Sure is awfully beautiful in here. Look at that stone. All right, good morning. I'm pretty much ready to tear down the camper and uh, and move on. Uh, a little bit concerned over the weather forecast. It looks like it's just like 50 kilometer winds, which in a place like this is is uh, a lot. My stove is connected to a couple of like um, metal uh, hinges, and I guess a lot of the movement ripped one off. And I was opening it up, and it just like sliced it. I always carry a first aid kit. Perfect. This is the west block uh, to where I am, and then it's basically a drive to the east block over here. Uh, east block is much smaller. Not a ton of people go there. I'm all packed up. Uh, I'm all washed up and feeling pretty good. The main campground is over there. There's no water or anything at this time of year here. Um, but I'm in like this overflow area, which is which is a great it's like a huge field and uh, I don't need hookups or anything so it's nice to just have a little bit of, of uh, privacy and uh, I was shooting some of the the star stuff that I was doing right on that picnic table and surprised I didn't just bail a few times on that because I was trying to get like I had the whole Milky Way was all like right here and then I was standing on this thing just being stupid and uh, Hopefully the shot worked out. All right, this is uh, a place in grasslands. That's like the prairie dog mecca.
finishing up a time lapse of the sunset, which looks pretty amazing. And uh, I'm crouched down, hiding from the wind right now. Uh, the wind is taking a lot of energy out of me. Um, it's just exhausting. All right, I've set up camp. I got some cards backed up. I got some batteries charged. I'm not 100% sure of my plan tomorrow. Um, I think I want to get a couple more shots here and then make my way through some of the small towns again because that's been kind of the funnest thing about this, uh, this trip is like going to these abandoned towns and like seeing kind of the history of of the people that first settled uh in this area and stuff too is is pretty cool um but i've got to time it i've got to figure out a way to time it so i'm back in west block um early in the morning because i missed the bison on my first go around and uh that's a big draw for me to watch those guys in that landscape is um it's uh it's just I just love it. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm making some coffee inside today and uh, it wasn't as windy as I thought it was gonna be. So that was great. I was able to keep the top up all night long and uh, had a great sleep. Let's make some uh, coffee. It's the same cup I drink red wine from. And so all my coffee always tastes a little bit like red wine. Fun fact. Uh, again, my routine is always to make two things of coffee. Um, one I drink pretty immediately and the other I save in this Yeti and keeps it, uh, keeps it hot all day. So I kind of have two coffee stops there. I use, still use these. The spot's telling me there's an error. I've had this thing forever. The hardware is very outdated, but it worked. It worked last night. I've got no cell service here, and uh, I was able to just let Nintel know where I am and let her know that I'm okay. You know, the forecast was calling for some crazy winds, and uh, thankfully that didn't happen last night, but it's howling out there now. That always makes it a little bit challenging. There you go. This is how uh, I make coffee on the road almost every time that I can. Uh, what else is going on? So I'm gonna finish cleaning up. I'm gonna brush my teeth and um, pack up and uh, get this day started. So today was all about, um, I don't even know what today was about. It was really about avoiding wind for the most part. It was really, really tough to, to shoot. It's gonna be super cold tonight. There's like this frost warning, which is super unusual. And it's it said it's gonna go down to minus eight in this area tonight, um, which is weird because if you look at the very next day, it goes right back up to like 15, 16 uh, and stuff. So it's just, one day of like an extreme cold snap that and that's happening tonight i'm just heading into valmarie now and i'm gonna go check out their grain elevator 
and uh, see what that looks like with uh, still a little bit of light in the sky. <sighs> okay, so um, it is just so cold. I pulled over to, um, it's an observatory close to East End. This is such a dumb camera angle. So I didn't pop the top. I'm trying to make it as warm as I can. But I think the plan is to just uh, hunker down. I'm gonna do a little bit of route planning for tomorrow. Uh, everything now is westbound for the most part. So it's probably like minus two right now, minus three, which is crispy. But the sun's out, so always <laughs> that makes it a little bit bad. I think I'm gonna make some coffee and get mobile here and uh, start making my way west. I'm gonna go all the way down to Fort Walsh, I think, but. Thanks, Jack, for letting me stay at your place. Uh, it's time to move on, but I think I'm gonna go backtrack just a little bit back to East End and uh, check out that grain elevator and some of those uh, trains for my friend Ken. closed but it looked pretty from the outside I talked to a Parks Canada person there and she mentioned kind of told her what what I was doing and and uh, how I like to do it and she was mentioning to take this back way to Elkwater it's been about five days on the road so far and uh, it's just been fantastic like Southern Saskatchewan is just a, uh, a brilliant place to, uh, to visit and take your time. There's not a lot of people here. They're so friendly. Um, a lot of places you end up going to, chances are you're gonna be there alone and there's something nice about that as well. And the landscapes, as far as like, you know, you're in BC and you're, you're seeing those mountains and lakes, it's big lakes all the time. And it's like, you take them for granted a little bit and you come out here and you see the skies like this and it's, uh, um, I don't know, it's just different, but it's just unreal. I'm gonna uh, wrap this video right here, standing in Saskatchewan while my truck is in uh, Alberta. And uh, this was a fantastic stop to extend uh, this journey a little bit and stay off the number one. Um, so if you haven't seen this, research like Fort Walsh, research Cypress Hills into Provincial Park, and you can kind of cross the border that way. And uh, if I know me, as soon as I hit pavement and uh, I'm back on like the crow's nest, it's gonna be a straight shot home. But um, if that's the case, uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, please do subscribe, it means a ton. And uh, a lot of these journeys, or a lot of my real time stuff is, is on Instagram stories. It's the easiest thing for me to kind of update when I'm uh, traveling or doing shoots and it's off the cuff. So if you ever wanna follow along with a, uh, a seasoned professional photographer that uh, works with 
just all kinds of different clients. Follow me on Instagram and it's Dahul. It'll be in the uh, description at, at D-A-H-U-L. And the final, final shout out is to Chris Attell, who's a photographer in Saskatchewan, who I've never met. I don't know him, but I've only, I only know him through his videos on YouTube and he does a fantastic job uh, uh, documenting abandoned Saskatchewan and, and all the grain elevators and and he's just super knowledgeable. Like he gives just real practical tips for night photography and everything else that, that you want to do. But I'll leave uh, more information about him in the description as well. So, so thanks, Chris. That's it. I'm going to still see what I can get while this light is cherry. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.